Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharu Kakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Chuka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the understanding of this truth, which is a token from the Son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. Shalom also to the few Aquat sisters who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yarayaya Sharala from the GMS Italy camp. And this is more like um, a public announcement because um, it's been over two weeks now that I haven't been able to, to load on this channel. So I've been loading on my secondary channel, which is the GMS Italia 2. And I've also been loading on my channel on um, Odyssey. So um, this is the last strike I'll get on this channel. So, um, in order for me to keep the content that are on this page in which, you know, I've done lots of content, either in English and in Italian, you know, some other brothers might be, you know, still seeking this truth and this page might be useful to someone, you know, so I don't really want them to close this, this channel, this page, but if it is to the will of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, let his will be done. So I would, I would be loading on, on on my what do you call it on my odyssey channel what i'll do is um whenever i do a lesson i'll put down a snippet a snippet of the lesson you know then i'll drop the link in the in the description so who really wants to check out the video who really wants to check out the lesson should click on the link and it will take you to to what do you call it to odyssey where you can check out the rest of the video then every once in a while like that you know I'll be loading content on my second channel, which is um, GMS Italia 2. That's the channel you find on the home page of this channel. So, you know, this is what it is. You know, the farming of the world is getting close. You know, Amos 811. And um, it's, it's, it's funny, not really funny because, you know, it's all been prophesied, you know. We're living in a society today whereby, you know, certain things that you say which is true are deemed you know wicked and the funny thing was the last strike i got i got it from a video i did a long time ago in italian language and i just don't know why they they had to take that video down i really don't know why and they've been doing strange things lately even on my second channel i loaded a video in this week and you know they didn't send me any message or anything they just blocked the video, you know, for no reason. I don't know. And, you know, we've been we've been careful with the with the with the words we use, we've been choosing words. So anyway, this is just like a public announcement, you know, that I'll be doing more of my videos and on 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 Odyssey, you know, where we have more liberty to speak, you know, until the most I Yahweh Shem Shai permits us. So anyway, I'll just, you know, convert this into a short lesson because, you know, we always have to speak the truth no matter what, you know, this truth is, this truth is Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth and life, you know, we always have to speak the truth, you know, no, no matter what, what's going to cost us, you know, to speak the truth, we always have to speak it, you know, unlike people lately, they've been giving heed to to this seducing spirits and unsound doctrines, you know, you have different camps, you know, which the Most High has been exposing heavily lately, you know, they, they've, been, they've been teaching all damnable heresies, you know, you know, putting people in bondage with these teachings that they've been teaching, you know, but they're all going to be responsible for what they say, what they teach, because, you know, the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai is not mocked, you understand? So... These people are not really happy at us, you know, they hate those that, um, that rebuke. Let's see. I know it's in the book of Amos. 
can. This is the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 10. It says, they hate him that rebuke it in the gate and they have all him that speak it uprightly. You know, this is exactly what we're seeing, you know, on all these platforms, you know, in which um, if you don't say things that actually goes according to their own narrative, you know, you get cut off, you know. And this also goes back to, you know, those um, unrighteous decrees. Unrighteous decree. That's the book of um, Isaiah, I believe. Can This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and the right grievousness which they have not prescribed. These are unrighteous decrees, you know. So, you, they, they, and we know that those that are actually, you know, ruling this this kingdom as we know it today are the Edomites, you know, um, they, are the, they are the sons of, of lies, you know. The, the devil comes but to kill, destroy, uh, and, uh, and, and spread lies, you know. He's the father of lies, you know. So, they, they always want to keep you, you know, locked up with these enchantments, which is witchcraft. You know, the more they tell you a lie, the more it becomes the truth to you, you know. These people, they do diligent searches on what they do, you know, to, in order to keep people, you know, in a, in a, in a trance-like, um, in a trance-like, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? In a trance-like state, you know. So, we are actually told to always speak the truth, no matter what it costs us. This is the book of, um, is it Zechariah? I can't. Zechariah 8.16 It says These are the things that ye shall do Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor Execute the judgment of truth And peace in your gates You know And how we, This is a commandment given to us man we, we have to speak the truth to every man You know to our neighbors, which are the sons of Israel, you know, and execute judgment of truth and peace in your gates, you know, in your surroundings, in your camps where you find yourself, you know, you always have to speak the truth of the Bible, you know, the truth of this truth, you know, you don't have to sugarcoat it, you don't have to present it your own way, you know, you have to tell the truth the way it is, you know, and that's, that's love, man, that's what's called love, you know, it says, let none of you imagine evil in your heart against his neighbor and love no false oath, you know. And this is what, you know, many Hebrew Israelite camps are actually facing right now, you know. They have a false oath, you know. They have a false oath because most of them are actually doing, you know, they're doing this work for their own fame, for their own personal purposes. They're not actually doing this thing because they truly love the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai. You know, now, you know, they've been exposed. We're saying that, you know, they don't really care about the son of the most high, who is actually the way to life, you know, who is our mediator, our intercessor, you know, who is Yahweh Shai, you know, they don't regard him, you know, they, they believe that they can make it through um, the, their, their works and these commandments in which these laws and commandments are the ways in which we need to walk through to the best of our ability. But we know that these laws are not going to save us, you know. So these people, you know, they're, 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 they're actually, they have, they've taken different oaths, you know. Many of them have taken bags, you know, the Judas bags, you know, in which they can't teach the truth anymore. Many of them have actually, you know, eliminated the true name of the Most High and His Son from their doctrine. Many of them are teaching all different kinds of unsound doctrine, you know. And we were warned actually to watch out for these people, you know. He say, for all these are things that I hate, said the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, these are the things that the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai hates. So all those people that are still part of these camps, you know, I'll just, I don't even want to mention any camp name, you know, because the people already know what's going on. You know, those whom the Most High really want to open their eyes, their eyes will be opened. You know, they will discern and know what camp to, to follow, just like the book of, um, is it um is it Malachi or Micah? Um, um discern I was uh, what's the spelling? Um 
Why should I forget the scripture? Pardon me, excuse me. Khan, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 18. You know, it says, Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth not him. You know, so this is left for, you know, the people seeking the truth. Just like we also, we also, we also were faced with such decision at the beginning when we came into this truth, you know. We were going about every different kinds of doctrine. Then it came to a, to a moment in which we really, really needed to make a decision because we found out that the word doctrine, many of these doctrines were contradicting themselves. You know, not all the um, the Hebrew Israelite camps teach the same doctrine. We needed to make a decision. You know, we prayed over it. You know, we asked for the Holy Spirit, the Ruka Kodash, and the Most High in one way or the other. It gave us the knowledge and the Spirit to discern, you know. Now, let's get the book of um, Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. It says, Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. You know, we have to speak the truth to our neighbors, you know. This truth is what's going to save us, man, which the truth goes back to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the truth, man, you know. So we have to speak the truth to our neighbors, you know, forsake the Judas bags, you know, because many of these Hebrew Israelite camps are bought, man. Many of them, they only care about, you know, promoting their merchandise, you know, and selling out things to, to Israel, you know. They, they, they care about, you know, pushing their own their own kind of righteousness, their own swag or whatever, you know, music videos and all these things, you know, creating a record label and all this BS, you know. Many of these camps, they really don't even believe that the son of the Most High Yahweh is coming back, you know. But, hey, we, this, this shouldn't sound strange to you, you know. They've been doing, they were doing it even in the time of, of Yahweh Shai, so they'll do it also in these times, man. These people have started compromising. They don't speak the truth anymore. You know, truth is not found in them anymore. You know, this is the book of um, Psalm 15. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll just read the first and second verse. It says, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, who shall dwell in thy holy hill. And it says, He that walketh uprightly and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. You know? These laws are the way in which we need to walk because these are the, that's the way, the walk of righteousness. But saying that we are, in, we, are in, we are in captivity, many of these technicalities of these commandments, we can't keep them now, you know? Because we are under, we are under captivity. But that's which we can keep with the best to the best of our ability. We keep them. But then, that's not enough because you need that faith, man. You need to speak the truth. You need to understand what's the truth. Yahweh Shai is the truth, man. You know? You need to have faith in Yahweh Shai because He is our Savior. We can't get to the Father without Him, you know? That's who you need to put all your heart in, you know? Pray to Yahweh Shai to, to intercede for you, you know, to intercede on behalf of yourself, you know, before the Father. Because we can't get to the Father, man. We, we are filthy beings, man. We have a such low level, you know, we can't deal with the Father, man. We need someone to deal with the Father for us. And that perfect person is Yahweh Shai. Man, none of us can deal directly with the Father, you know. And you have to speak the truth to yourself in your heart, man. These laws are not what's going to... You can't keep this no matter what you can, you want. You can't keep these laws 100%, man. You know? And the scripture lets you know that, you know, for we have all sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai. You know? All of us, we have all sinned, you know? There is also... There is also a scripture in Sirach that I can't remember right now. You know that says that you know um um in our in our in our young age or so you know roughly paraphrasing you know 
when we were when we were young, we were giving onto onto folly and wickedness, you know. So this is this is what everyone has done, you know. So you can't you can't you can't exempt yourself from that. Let's see. The book of um, Jeremiah. And I'll just close this quickly, you know. I just wanted to, you know, build up a little bit on this. This is the book of Jeremiah 22, verse 3. It says, Thus said the Lord Yahweh Shemiah Shai, execute ye judgment and righteousness, and deliver the spoil out of the hand of the oppressor. How do we deliver the spoil out of the hand of the oppressor? You know, we do this by telling them the truth, the pure truth, man. You know. But this actually was actually speaking about the kings of the heads of Israel, you know. But then you can take this on the spiritual path, you know. This 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 scripture was actually speaking to the heads, you know. If you read from the first chapter, it said, Go down to the house of the king of Judah and speak there these words, you know. But then you can use it in this truth, you know. This is the only way you can execute judgment and righteousness and deliver the spoiled, you know, because our people has been spoiled, they've been taken captives, you know, they've been brainwashed all their lives, you know, with all these lies, you know. The only way you can you can redeem them from this um from this captivity is by giving them this truth and you have to present it 100 percent you know you don't sugarcoat it you don't present it the way you want to present it you don't present it because you're looking for fame or something you know you present this truth the way it is you know and it says and do no wrong do no violence to the stranger the fatherless nor the widow who are the strangers who are the fatherless you know we Israelites, we became strangers in the lands where we find ourselves because we have we, we start following all these different deities. You know, we start follow calling on 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 Jesus, which is a a, a a a a deity that has nothing to do with the true deity of the Bible. You know, we start following all different kinds of philosophies and all that thing. You know, so we became fatherless because the Most High abandoned us. You know, we became fatherless. You know, we became widows. You know. And it says, neither shed innocent blood in this place. And you don't only kill people by putting a sword to their neck or shooting them. You know, you kill them also by lying. As a matter of fact, the easiest way to kill someone is by telling them lies, you know. When you see when you see something, you know, that's 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 wicked right be, before before them, and you don't you don't inform them of this thing, you know, that's wickedness, you know. Just like um for example, when um, King David, he sent um, he sent the husband of um, of um, um, of Bathsheba, okay, he sent a husband to the front line of the war, and he, and he knew he was going to be killed, and he was killed. David didn't literally kill him with his own hands, but the act and everything, David actually killed him, you know. So when you know there is danger, you have to inform the people. You have to tell them the 100% truth. No sugar coating. This is the book of um, Ezekiel. Um, let's take this one from 3 first. This is Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 18. It says, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So all these wicked Hebrew Israelite groups, you know, that are not letting the people know that the way to salvation is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the key to salvation, you know, that are, that are trying to let them, telling them, you know, the same thing that these wicked Pharisees were doing back in those times, you know, forcing people to, 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 to follow these laws and commandments as if the laws and commandments is going to be what you'll be judged according to, you know. Yes, we'll be judged by the laws, you know, but salvation comes through Yahweh Shai, you know. So these people that are, you know, teaching all these um, wicked doctrines, you know, they are all going to be judged, man. They are all going to, be, the blood of the people that are going to die through these wicked doctrines that they push, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai will require this blood from your hands, you know. So we have to be careful what we push out there. We have to be careful what kind of doctrine we teach, you know. It has to be a 100% doctrine, you know. We have to be perfect 
as Yahweh Shai is perfect. In this truth, we have to be perfect, you know. We can't be perfect in this flesh because, you know, we need new bodies, you know. That's going to be the, 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 the new covenant, you know, in which the laws will be written in our inward parts and we will not be able to sin anymore, you know. But then we have to be perfect in this truth because there is a perfect truth. There is a 100% perfect truth. Don't let anyone deceive you, you know. That's what they go by, you know, deceiving lots of people, trying to let them know that no one has, has the 100% truth. Yes, we have the 100% truth, you know. One more scripture and I close on this. This is the book of Ezekiel. Um, chapter 33. Read verse 6. It says, But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among thee, if he's taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require the watchman's hand. So we, that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has given the knowledge of this truth, we are actually watchmen, you know. So if we see any danger coming, you know, for example, like the MOTB, which is the next major prophecy that's coming, you know, you know what that is, you know, don't want to speak too much. I also even just posted a couple of um, videos regarding this thing, you know, brought out some information. You should go check out the, the Odyssey channel, you know. When we see this thing coming and we are not informing the people that this is what it is, we're telling them that it's everything else but not the truth of what it is, you know, which is the grain of rice that's going to be put on under your flesh right there, you know. Different, different, different Hebrew Israelite camps are, you know, are teaching that they are different things, you know. The blood of these people that are going to take this thing, you know, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to require their blood from your hands, man. Teaching the people that you can, yeah, you 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 can you can make it to the kingdom. You know, by following only the laws and not believing in the Son, you know, discrediting the Son. These are all wicked, damnacy, damnacy, um, heresy, heresy, man. I don't even know what, what word to use, man. So, hey, um, we've been warned in the book of Matthew 24 that in this time there are going to be lots of false prophets, you know, deceiving people and being deceived, man, you know. You just need to be, just to watch and pray, man. Be as wise as a serpent, you know, and harmless like a dove, you know. Walk here as wise men, redeeming the time, for the days are evil, you know. So, hey, this is what I just wanted to pass. But the main thing, you know, I'm trying to communicate is, uh, the, from the next lessons I'll be doing, I'll just be dropping snippets on, on YouTube and dropping the link alongside with it. So you, you can go watch it on, on Odyssey because I don't want this channel to go down. You know, there, there are many videos in Italian language, you know, some brothers that are just waking up to the truth in Italian language. You know, I've done lots of bro breakdowns through the spirit, you know, that, you know, will be stressful trying to do everything again. But, you know, if that's what the most I hear about Shemi Shai wills, you know, we do it. You know, this is why we're here, you know, but... Seeing that the, the, the channel contains a lot of content, you know, that, that I edify, you know, it's nice that it remains, you know. So, I'll be posting more of my videos on, on, on Odyssey and I'll be dropping the link. Hopefully, this was edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baharu Kakodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.